G'day guys, Disney Dave coming at you once again from Down Under. Yes, I got a package in the mail today, which I'm super, super excited for. I've actually been waiting for this for over a month now. Now, I imported this from America, and I have a feeling it's got stuck in customs, either on that end or on this end. It's been like four or five weeks since I ordered this thing. I've been waiting, and I thought, honestly, I thought this was gone. I thought it was missing in the post. I've ordered from this seller multiple, multiple times, and I've never had a problem with receiving stuff from them like longer than one or maybe two weeks this took forever but it's here it's in my hands i'm so excited what is it it's star wars Yes, that's right, it's more Star Wars merchandise, I'm so excited. Packaged incredibly, incredibly well. What are we taking a look at? You already know what we're taking a look at because you have seen, because you've seen the title of the video. It is of course the soundtrack to Star Wars Rogue One on vinyl, yes! I'm so excited to finally have this. This is awesome, like how cool is that cover? Ah, Darth Vader on the back. This is very, very exciting. As I said, I've been waiting for this for so long. I ordered this from Import CD. I've actually on their eBay page, import CDs dash AU. It's like their Australian targeted eBay account, which gives like Australian collectors a little bit of a, a of a better price than if you were to order through their American eBay account or even their American website. This cost me 35 bucks. How good is that? JB Hi-Fi locally was selling this for $50 and even Amazon was going to cost me a lot more than that. Import CDs are rapidly becoming one of my, if not my, absolute favourite places to buy records and Blu-rays. Now, of course, Amazon have been annoying me lately with the whole Disney, TIFF, whatever was going on with them. I think that's sorted now because Bambi is up for pre-order and it's been up for a couple of weeks already. But the problem is with Amazon and that little thing that was going on with Disney it just made them so unreliable to me and I went off and I looked for other places where I could find blu-rays and records and all that kind of stuff and I found import CDs and I think they're gonna be my main go-to place from now on sorry Amazon but uh, I don't know if that means you've lost a customer or we'll, we'll, we'll just see but I'm really really excited to crack into this and have a look I really love this soundtrack. I know uh, people have mixed feelings about it, but I really, really loved it. I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, of course. First, I'm gonna do like a proper unboxing. I'll, I'll take it out of the shrink wrap here. Be careful with these things. Just rip that off. Oh. Very, 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 very cool. All right, there it is. Let's head over there and take a look at the packaging. We'll take a look at the record itself, and then we'll come back, I'll do a very quick wrap up. Okay, Rogue One, a Star Wars story on vinyl. Music by Michael Giacchino with original Star Wars music by John Williams. Absolutely love the cover art on this one. This is the uh, the film's main poster. I was kind of disappointed that the Blu-ray didn't have this as the main cover art. I think this is fantastic. This is like a, it's a really, really nice poster. I have a copy of the CD in hand as well. The artwork on the covers are exactly the same. If we flip this over to the back, we have this, uh, oh, it's sort of a boring picture on the back. Again, exactly the same as what's on the CD. I love the fact that we've got Darth Vader on here, but yeah, I really think they could have picked a better picture. It doesn't even look like it's a publicity still or anything. It almost looks like it's just a direct frame grab from the film that's been dropped in there. I think they could have put a bit more effort into the back cover there, but uh, all the track listing is exactly the same as the CD. We've got 21 tracks on here, uh, but this is split over two records. So we've got the disc one and the disc two. If we open this up, really like the artwork they've gone with on the inside of the gatefold here. It's really nice that they've, they've tied and the whole theme with the Death Star and the Death Star plans and everything and all these nice little clip art sort of things here from the film. Again, they look like they might just be frame grabs from a trailer or something. I'm not sure why they haven't used publicity stills or anything on this. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't matter. That's sort of reminiscent of the uh, the booklet that you get inside the CD. You've got this same artwork here and these little clip arty things, but they're sort of arranged a little bit differently. The booklet from the CD does offer quite a bit more artwork though, sort of like pictures like that. That's not a huge loss from the LP, but I really really love this picture here. I, I wish they could have worked this onto the vinyl somewhere, uh, but alas, they have not. But in the way of the LP release, this is pretty much all you get. There's nothing incredibly special about this. You've got a gatefold, you've got the two discs. There's no flyers or booklets or pamphlets or anything sort of in here, liner notes or anything like that. It's all on here. We have got two LPs. Both are black and there's nothing fancy about either of them. 
which is pretty good. There doesn't always have to be something special about a release. There are so many people doing colored variants and picture discs and stuff these days. It's, it's kind of nice to get your hands on a black LP every now and then. But the one thing that sort of disappoints me a little bit about this one is that it's not a 180 gram vinyl. Like if you look at that, that's sort of flexing when I push in the middle there. Uh, I really wish it had been 180 grams because it's a bit more durable. But I'm sure the sound on this is really nice anyway. I don't know, I wish they'd put a little bit more effort into this release. Of course, the Force Awakens vinyl had that hologram thing. This doesn't have anything special. On one hand, that's really that's really good because it's cheaper, and but that sort of really reflects in this release. As I said, it cost me 35 bucks. Usually I'd probably pay $40, $50 for a, for a record online. You know, this is really cheap and it sort of reflects in that. I don't know why they haven't done 180 gram vinyl because they usually do, especially Walt Disney Records. They're usually really good at doing that. But I feel like this release has sort of been rushed out. There was no massive pre-order, no massive announcement. It wasn't until like a couple of months before they actually released it, they said, oh, we're putting this out on vinyl. Force Awakens had announced it months and months before even the CD had come out. So it sort of feels like it's a bit of an afterthought. If we just compare that to the CD from the original release, the label here is pretty much reminiscent of the old, of the CD label. Got the Rebellion logo and the uh, Rogue One logo up the top there. But there it is right there. And look, I couldn't not have this in my Star Wars uh, record collection. Yeah, I just wish they'd just put a little bit more effort into it, even if it did cost me an extra five or 10 bucks. They absolutely flogged the soundtrack for Force Awakens. There were so many different versions of that. There was the holographic one. There was the picture disc one. There were a bunch of picture disc singles and all that. This one, I feel like they just didn't really bother to go all out with. It's nice that you've still got the option to have it in the collection it's a nice release it's got some beautiful art on the cover but uh, look if you do pick this up don't expect too much out of the release Okay, so there we go, the Star Wars Rogue One vinyl. I love this soundtrack, I really love it. Michael Giacchino is probably my favorite modern composer or my favorite current composer, and I think his work is fantastic. Whether it be his original stuff, like the soundtrack to Up, which was incredible, I love the Up soundtrack, or whether he is stepping into the boots of another composer, like in this case, stepping into the boots of John Williams. He also did the soundtrack for Jurassic World, so again, he's working Working with John Williams' themes, trying to build his own original soundtrack around existing themes. I think he does that very well. At times, this almost does sound like, it. say you were to make like a Star Wars fan film and you wanted to use Star Wars music that sounded like Star Wars music but wasn't exactly like Star Wars music and you could tell that it, they were just trying to rip off Star Wars music without breaching copyright laws. Okay, one or two tracks on here kind of feels like that. It's like he's almost trying, especially like that uh, sequence at the beginning where you get Rogue One, the title come up on the screen. The title song for that almost feels like he's almost reaching to do the ba 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 ba, but it just he, he imitates it in a way that it is and it isn't and it almost feels like one of those cheap like yeah like, like royalty free sound alike kind of thing but at other times he uses John Williams' themes fantastically like the force theme he builds into it and Leia's theme and the Darth Vader theme is built into it I think he did a really 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 good job with this soundtrack I love the soundtrack and I'm really really happy to own it on vinyl like I said import CDs was the cheapest place I could find this it was cheaper than Amazon it was cheaper than buying it locally in the store at JB Hi-Fi and they package this so well there is not a ding on this sometimes it's so risky importing records from overseas because they come beat up or this comes crushed or bent or you know the sleeves that have got like a gash through them and the records falling out you know I've had so many tr dramas with buying records overseas that I try not to do it but like I said they package this really well their packaging is fantastic, it's like stuck together with like this glue inside there but then the actual record itself was sitting inside this here like an extra layer of protection, it was inside there, double protection Okay, so that rounds out this video here today. If you're a first time viewer of my channel and you like what you've seen and you'd like to see some more, I just crossed a thousand subscribers this past week and I'm aiming for my next thousand. So please give me some support and after the jump, hit subscribe. To all my regular viewers, thank you once again for joining me and to absolutely everybody out there. I hope I'll see you again soon. Until then though, guys, take care and may the force be with you.